the No Fade channel checking in. And on this episode of Dad's Desktop, I'll be going over two inexpensive upgrades that will immediately speed up your everyday PC experience. Today we'll be covering two hardware upgrades that will immediately speed up your everyday computer performance. That's boot time, that's web browsing, and that's video editing. The great thing about these upgrades are that they are inexpensive. The market is flooded with used versions of these components and they rarely go bad. So you can pick them up online for a fraction of the cost at sites like Craigslist, uh, eBay, and even Facebook Marketplace and Amazon sells these components used and backs them with their own Amazon return policy. So let's dive in. The first upgrade is to add a solid state drive to your computer. Most folks have traditional hard disk drives. The solid state drive operates over 325% faster than your traditional drive. So when you go to load Windows, or you go to load a video, or you're editing software, or just saving large um, photos, you're going to notice an immediate improvement on speed and response of your computer. If you already have an SSD in your computer, then skip ahead to this time right here and go on to the second upgrade. If you don't have a solid state drive, then let's go over the steps that you need to get one added into your computer. The first step in installing a solid state drive is to pick one up, preferably used. I got this Samsung SSD from Amazon used, fulfilled by Amazon, so they would have taken it back with their return policy if there was any issues. I saved 21% over the new price. You will also need to get a mounting kit, and this is going to convert the 2.5 inch SSD to a 3.5 inch so you can fit it into the hard drive bay on your desktop. You will also need to get a SATA cable to connect your SSD to your motherboard. These should come with your conversion kits. Everything that I saw online, the conversion kits came with these cables, but just a heads up. Once you have your SSD, you want to install it into your desktop. You're going to remove the hard drive bay from your desktop. You're going to add in the SSD, connect it to your motherboard, and then place the hard drive bay back into the desktop. It sounds complicated, but it really isn't. Once you have physically installed your SSD, you then want to clone your current hard drive onto your new SSD. It sounds complicated, but many SSD companies like Samsung provide you the software to do it, and it's very much dumbed down. If the SSD that you got does not have the software, you can download free software online that allows you to clone one hard drive to another. Once you have cloned your hard drive, you are going to go into your motherboard's BIOS and update it so that it boots from your new solid state drive. How do you do that? What you're going to do when Windows boots up is you're going to hit F10. Now there are different motherboards require different numbers. Sometimes it's F2, sometimes it's delete. Um, if it doesn't say when it boots up what you need to hit, you can simply Google your motherboard or your computer make and model and you can find out. It's not that complicated. Um, once you are in BIOS, you are going to set the boot order of your computer to reference the solid state drive first. Once you have successfully prioritized your SSD on the boot priority for your motherboard, you can then format your old hard drive and use it for long-term storage of things like photos or completed videos. Upgrade number two, RAM. Random access memory. Inexpensive, quick to install, more is better, and it instantly speeds up your computer, especially if you're using Windows 10. Windows 10 runs a program in the background called Superfetch. What that does is it places your most commonly used files or programs on your RAM for quick access and perkier performance of your computer. So the more RAM you have, the quicker your computer is going to feel during your everyday tasks. So what type of RAM should you get? If you're like me and you picked up your computer from a big box store like Best Buy or Walmart or from a huge computer manufacturer like HP, simply Google your make and model number. That will tell you what your computer came with in terms of the type of RAM, 
the number of sticks of RAM and the amount of RAM, two gigabytes, four gigabytes, eight gigabytes. Using that, you will know what type and the amount of sticks you'll need to buy to fully upgrade your desktop. The great thing about RAM is that it almost never goes bad and there's tons of used RAM on the market for cheap. You can buy it new, but you would save a ton of money by buying it used. Great places to pick it up are eBay and Facebook Marketplace. Installing RAM is quick and easy. You want to remove the power cable and all the cables attached to your computer. Then you want to remove the side panel and you're going to push down on all of the tabs for the RAM slots. You're going to remove any RAM that you are replacing and install the RAM by putting them into the slots and pushing down on the RAM. As you push down, the slide tabs will come up and click into place, locking the RAM. That's all you have to do, and then you reverse the order by putting the cover back on, plugging in the cables and the power, and Bob's your uncle. If you've come this far in the video, then definitely hit that like button. If this video helps you speed up your computer's performance, then let me know in the comments below. I really value your feedback. As usual, thanks for watching, and don't save anything for the trip back. The No Fate channel is dedicated to providing you with ideas on how to improve your community. Your community at home, your community in your neighborhood, and your community in your town. I'll also be giving you insight into this dad's tricks, trips, and tribulations.